My new series is called The Infernal Devices. The first book is Clockwork Angel. It's a prequel series to The Mortal Instruments, meaning the events in it take place before the events of The Mortal Instruments. In fact, 130 years before the events of The Mortal Instruments. I had a image in my mind when I first thought about creating The Infernal Devices, and the image was that of a girl and a boy standing on a bridge in London, in definitely Victorian London, and they were dressed in, you know, in the period costumes, and from one side of the bridge, an army of clockwork monsters was advancing on them, and they hadn't noticed yet. Sort of the shadows were gathering. It was a very, like, nightmare, uh, dreamscape image, but it really stuck with me. One of the fun things about writing um, a book series like this that's um, adventure and romance the way that Mortal Instruments was is that the way that men and women treated each other in Victorian times was very different much less casual much more formal so for a good half of the book Will and Tessa refer to each other as Mr. you know this and Miss Gray and Mr. Lightwood even Will just touching her hand or her wrist is a much bigger deal in the Victorian era than it would be now. It's, it would be like kissing someone nowadays. So that was fun, kind of playing around with the restraint of the era. I had a lot of fun doing research for Infernal Devices. For an entire year, I read nothing but books that were either set in the Victorian period or written about the Victorian period. I tried to focus specifically on London, but I did read anything that was set kind of in the British Isles and some things that were set in New York because that is where Tessa is from. And I also went to London multiple times and walked around the streets of London, tried to get the, my bearings there, get an idea of, you know, if one of my characters was walking from uh, Whitechapel High Street to Spitalfields Market, what does that mean? How long does that take? New readers definitely don't need to read the Mortal Instruments before they read the Infernal Devices. I think of them as companion series. They enhance but don't spoil one another. If you've read The Mortal Instruments already, as you read through, you'll recognize some of the more uh, immortal or long-lived characters who do make an appearance um, in the Infernal Devices for the first time.